At Aquaribo, we want to show that there's a better way to use water at home without losing the health and livability that water offers us. That's why Southeast Water is fitting every Aquaribo home with a high-tech rain to hot water system to reduce your home's reliance on drinking water. It's a high-tech system that includes screening, filtering and treatment devices. This means that rainwater supplied to your Aquaribo home has been screened to prevent entry of leaves and other matter. It's also filtered and treated by UV and heat before it enters your home. To ensure that it's safe for non-drinking purposes to supply your hot water system for bathing, showers and baths, add in the laundry trough and washing machine. Here's how your rain to hot water system works. It all begins with capturing rainwater on the roof of your Aqua Rebo home. The rainwater is screened through a gutter guard, which prevents entry of leaves and other debris then passes into the downpipe where it's screened for a second time, this time through a leaf diverter. A third screening process has the initial flow of 17 litres of rainwater diverted away from the rainwater tank by what's called a first flush device. And it's screened for a fourth time through an insect screen before it finally enters the rainwater tank. Rainwater is now stored inside your rainwater tank. Inside the tank is fitted with a high performance pump called a submersible pump. The submersible pump contains a screen at the base of the pump and sits above the bottom of the tank. It's quieter and takes up less space than traditional pumps. The overflow pipe on your rainwater tank has an air gap fitting. This prevents stormwater entering the tank if there's a blockage in the stormwater drain. It also provides a final screening process which prevents insects entering the system via the overflow. When someone turns on a hot water tap in your home, rainwater is pumped from the rainwater tank to the hot water unit. On its way, it passes through a water filter and an ultraviolet water treatment system. The final water treatment occurs inside the hot water unit, where water is heated to above 60 degrees. This hot rainwater can now be used for non-drinking purposes, such as bathing, in the laundry trough and in your washing machine. The temperature sensor monitors that all the hot water within the heat pump unit has reached a temperature of 60 degrees. In the event that rainwater is not available, an automatic changeover device will substitute rainwater for drinking water to ensure a continuous hot water supply in your home. This device also prevents rainwater from entering the drinking water supply. There are two flow meters fitted to your rain to hot water system. On the supply line that provides backup drinking water and on the inlet to the hot water tank. This means you'll be able to access data about how your household uses water, which you'll be able to see on an easy to use app. As you can see, rainwater supplied to your home is screened, filtered and treated to an extremely high standard. It can be used for a range of non-drinking purposes to supply your hot water unit for bathing, showers and baths and in the laundry trough and washing machine. Tank Talk is technology that collects forecast data from the Bureau of Meteorology, then releases water from the rainwater tank into the stormwater drain when heavy rain is due. The water level in the tank is measured by a level indicator and the water is drained to allow for forecast rain, which means there's always room in the tank to capture fresh, new rainwater. And it reduces overflows onto properties or streets, reducing the risk of flooding to local waterways. Tank Talk sends and receives data through a water level indicator that sits inside your rainwater tank. To secure our water supplies for the future, we all must play a part. As a community, Aquaribo can make an important contribution towards reducing reliance on our drinking supplies.